Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in to us for the first time, thanks for stopping by. Please consider hitting subscribe below if you like car restoration projects like the 72 Challenger behind us. So, last we left off, we were working on either the rear quarter or the roof, one of the two. Um, but we got our parts in from AMD, some of them. Uh, we got our roof rails, I'm sorry, our drip rails in, and I've started to go ahead and take off the passenger side one and let's see what we've got going on. So I blazed through taking this one off uh, pretty quickly. We'll go through on the driver's side and show you taking that off in just a little bit here. But uh, I've taken this off and trying to figure out where it's going uh, in relation to where the old one was. There is enough rusted off down here. I don't have a really good uh, reference point. And just kind of going by uh, the driver's side and the lines um, around here and this other panel uh, for fitment. Up front, we have a hole and we have a little bit of a difference between uh, the roof line and the, uh, the other drip rail here. So I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of massaging, maybe Clico this guy in or tack it in and then uh, just sort of see how things fit together. So my plan is this, uh, I'm gonna take a couple of plug welds, probably one, two, and the third one up there in the front on both sides. And then hopefully I wanna get my roof on here and just uh, place it on here to make sure where these new drip rails are going are actually where they're supposed to be and everything is gonna line up. The last thing I wanna do is go ahead and weld everything on here and realize they're in the wrong spot and they've got to move quarter inch one way or the other, for example. So that's what we're gonna work on now. Um, let's go over here, look at the driver's side quick. You can see clearly we have some other work to do here and these are not readily available unless you replace the whole quarter side thing, which we're not doing. But I take some more time, cut out this bad area graft in some new material, and then we can look at putting on our drip rail on this side, which you can see is pretty beat up. Now, to get it off, you could do a couple of different things. Uh, I just took my uh, hand uh, chisel and just knocked everything off. You can kind of pry under here and get between all these spot welds and knock it off. So you could take your your air uh, chisel if you wanted to, but I didn't feel like destroying anything more than I had to, so that's why I just kind of went with the hand tools and slowly worked it off. So that's what I'm gonna do over on the driver's side. We'll kind of just speed through that quickly so you can get an idea what I'm doing, and then we'll try and at least get, uh, if I can get the passenger side uh, tacked on, We'll bring it over, uh, bring over the roof and set it on here. This at least I know uh, once I get the driver's side cleaned up with that bad metal, um, it's gonna fit down in the right spot. Just, I'm kind of going for a baseline here. So uh, let's just go ahead and get the old, uh, the other rail off and tack this new one in place. Alrighty, so as I was saying, all I've got here is just, actually it's the chisel from my uh, air tool, but just uh, rolling it by hand here and the good old hammer. And uh, headphone users, heads up. And I'm left handed and this is backwards for me. So I'll probably end up coming back this way. but you at least get the drift of uh, what we're doing here to get this old drip rail off and get ready for the new one. So I'm gonna continue working on this off camera. And when I get this all off and cleaned up, we'll bring back um, hopefully the roof. Alrighty gang, we're back. We've uh, fiddled around here for far too long, a couple of hours off camera. Uh, in fact, it's the next day, um, a little wet outside, it rained, but hey, look at the new shirts. So we've got the roof sitting on the car, it doesn't look great. 
Uh, what I want to do actually before I tack on the drip rails is take the uh, roof out of the box and just fit it on top and fit the drip rails in where they best made up with the roof. The last thing I want to do is get these drip rails in place, put the roof on there and figure out that it doesn't fit. So let's unbox this uh, roof that's been sitting here for, I don't know, a year. Gotta love parts availability. Alrighty, there we go. We have a roof. It, it's on, kind of. It, a lot of fitment left to do on here to get it on where it should be. There's cleanup to do back here. There's cleanup to do in the front. But it is on and it does resemble a whole lot more intact car once we get that on there. So that's the, that's kind of the important thing to see. Kind of like the black color. It's gonna be covered with the vinyl when it's all said and done. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of a look versus rusty color. And then take a guess what color this is gonna be. Any, any guess, if you can see up in the engine bay at all. Any guess, maybe hot pink. Yeah, Darren wants a hot pink Challenger. Anyway, my plan is uh, take one of the drip rails. I just want to see how it fits on here and see if I can take some measurements and mark uh, where it should get tacked in when it's said and done. And then take the roof back off and probably set it up on the 52 or something because that's not going anywhere for a while either. So in a perfect world, this fits under here. about like so. Hold on. In a perfect world, yeah, you can't see my head. It's a perfect world. Uh, drip rail tucks under here. And gets tacked on here and then on to the uh, roof frame itself. So we've got some massaging to do and some finessing to get everything where it goes because, well, some of these curves don't match up. But there we go. That's kind of how it should look. These drip rails, well, Cleco and clamp these things for sure, but drip rail goes back here, your vinyl top goes over it, then if I recall there is a chrome strip that goes up here too, I believe, somewhere over there in my pile of parts. So yeah, chrome strip, everything tacks in here, and then this tacks into the uh, vehicle itself, and there's this little tail back here. We'll see what we do with the tail. Um, well, you can't see that because it's off the camera. Hold on. So we've got this little tail here to, to address, um, but the good thing is this whole panel goes back about another uh, half an inch, five eighths of an inch. Uh, you can see where I dug out the old spot welds. And then that's gonna leave us with this area here where I actually do my welds and then I'll have to throw in some filler. Um, Grant that's gonna be under the vinyl. I am not too opposed to using filler uh, as opposed to lead work because we're not gonna see any of this ever again. Um, so we'll get this in, fill it, sand it, we'll be good to go. Uh, so this, is, this gives me a pretty good idea of where things are going and I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, probably gonna take a couple of Clecos and start up on the front uh, above the windshield 
Clico it down, and then work my way back to make sure I can get this uh, part of the panel where it should be back here and kind of flatten everything out just a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it maybe bow a little bit from sitting up against the wall for the last year or what the case may be, but we'll get it that bug out of there. Uh, we'll get this thing put in place, make sure everything is where it should be, and then we'll start working on getting these drip rails installed in their permanent location. Alrighty, well, we are back and I have not gotten as far as I wanted to. Uh, I spent a number of hours working my way around uh, the roof line here, uh, getting all the old metal off, uh, getting all those edges uh, hammered flat again uh, to accept the new roof and drip rails. And it's just been hot and disgusting and I haven't wanted to work in the garage when it's 84 degrees and equal humidity. Um, but what I have done is I have gotten uh, this, there's an area here that was rusted out. I cut that out, patched it in, and there's another uh, section on the driver's side, but it's about this long, and I'm out of metal, so I've got to go to the metal store. Um, the, I guess the bonus here is uh, in about two minutes, you're going to be done looking at my ugly mug. Uh, and I've got ahead and gotten most of the services prepped. Um, after we get the roof on and everything well done, I'm going to go through with that Eastwood uh, internal frame coating and run uh, through all these cavities to make sure everything is sealed up, um, you know, after I weld, of course. Otherwise, I would burn it off. So, yeah, uh, I wanted to get the drip rails on. But I can't do that yet because I need to get the roof on. And I can't get the roof on all the way because I have the rust to deal with. But maybe we can do this. Maybe we can set the roof on again, uh, now that I've gotten all the metal prepped, and just mark where these drip rails are gonna go so that when I get that metal for the uh, driver's side, right in this area here, I can get that welded in, then we can come back knock out the drip rails and the roof in the next video here. Maybe we'll do that. Alrighty, well, got the roof back on. Not too bad of a job, and actually since I went ahead and prepped everything and cleaned everything off, uh, silly microphone, um, it fits a whole lot better. So that's really positive to see. And uh, I've got my drip rail. I'm gonna try and tuck it in under here and just kinda see where we're at for fitment. I need a little bit of a bend right in here to fit in. Uh, I'll have to go back and look at some pictures. <clears throat> but uh, roof should squish down just a hair more. <clears throat> and then we'll be almost, yeah, we're right about, you, you can't see it from there. Uh, but there's just about an eighth of an inch of a gap of the old drip rail. And that does match up right here. So that's positive to see. Um, <clears throat> I've got my rail here. So you see this ends up getting sucked up against the roof line and that's where all of my welds go in. And then the drip rail itself was actually welded onto the structure underneath here. So you really never see anything up here. And this here is covered by some goo so, and the vinyl top and chrome. Uh, so you're really not gonna see any of these welds along here. This, of course, gets covered up by our vinyl top. And Bob's your uncle. Uh, so this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna make a few marks here, kind of scribe where these should end up being. And uh, it's gonna be kind of a gamble of getting this tacked onto the frame, up here, the roof frame, and then getting the roof itself sucked down onto the drip rail. So probably gonna have to do a little massaging with this uh, to get it to fit right again, even though they are 
Mopar parts, authentic, whatever. Um, there's gonna be some variance because, well, it's an old car and parts, so. This edge here overhangs by just a little bit, so I'll probably have to trim this off a hair so it does not extend down into the quarter panel, uh, but that shouldn't be a large issue because I can't pull it forward or else we're gonna start missing our, uh, our curvatures on here. So it's kind of a gamble, six one, half dozen to the other, but I'll go back and look at my other pictures um, where it was before, or at least the part that wasn't rusted away. So for now, I think we're in a really good spot. Like I said, I can't do the other side yet because I don't have the metal for the patching here in the pillar. Uh, so that's next on my list. But I wanted to kind of leave with something actually done versus just destroying stuff. So uh, we do have <clears throat> a good uh, starting point for our next step once we get that metal and get that patch in place. So that's where we're gonna leave off the roof project. Got another video coming out soon, every week. Yeah, and it's hot and it's disgusting. So if I happen to miss a week, it's probably because it's August and 95 or 100 degrees in the shop. So don't hold that against me. So if somebody wants to send me a, a cooler, a big uh, swamp cooler thing, I am all for that because it's disgusting and I am definitely not super clean by any means. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment below. If I'm doing something horribly wrong, let me know so I don't get too far gone. Uh, and otherwise just leave a good old comment. Maybe you've got a car you're working on and have some, uh, some constructive input uh, to help me or maybe this has helped you. Anyways, till the next video, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon, bye-bye.